Good afternoon folks from Can Pastilla in Mallorca. Now, apologies first off, this is not a normal video. It's one of these ones that you only watch if you need to watch for the specific information. So I'm sorry about that, but no offence if you don't watch this one, honest. <laughs> Aye, so the background to this one is that I've got a flight from Palma Airport tomorrow morning at 6am. And the airport is like within touching distance of where I am right now in Can Pastilla. But the airport buses don't start that early and the taxis were quoting about 30 euros to make that journey, which is just ridiculous. So I was trying to research different ways to get to the airport and I'm going to show you a walking route now, which I couldn't find online. So hopefully this will be of help to someone out there. So we start right from the heart of Can Pastilla on the beachfront and next to the El Cid Hotel and we start walking away from the beach. Let's go. And let me time this as well, let's get started. So the street we're starting on is Carrer del Vaixel. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I do speak some Spanish, but no Catalan at all. And we need to just cross the road here. And what you're looking for is this little dirt path. And it is called... It's called whatever that says. Immediately you leave Can Pastilla and it's like you're in the countryside almost. And way off in the distance I can see a wee bridge and that's what we're heading for because that'll take us over the motorway. The main reason I'm making this video is because when I was researching it, despite the airport being so close to Can Pastilla, I couldn't find any walking routes to get there. And I was digging away, digging away online and I finally found this little article from a guy who had done the walk, but there wasn't much information. So hopefully this video will show you how to get there, give you a little bit more information and let you see that it's not too bad a walk, but not one for everyone. There's that bridge I was talking about now. And once you're on this little blue bridge, you get a real idea of how close we were to the airport. We only started walking a couple of minutes ago and already we see the planes parked in front of us. We're now going to take a left turn. Be careful because there is traffic coming along this road. Once you've crossed the bridge, you're pretty much on airport property already. There's some roadworks here at the moment, which is quite handy for me because that gives me this whole lane just to walk along. But in normal times, you can just walk along the edge as well. Now, after about five minutes on this road, you'll see a gap in the fence and it's pretty obvious this is the way to go. Yeah, so just look for the sign Paso Obligatorio para Personas. And walking through this gap in the fence brings you on to airport property. This is where you've got all the car parks, like the long stay car park. So you just continue up to your right. We're just continuing along this pavement with a long stay car park on our left and we're about to turn left here. And there's a little bus stop for the courtesy bus that takes you from the long stay to the terminal. Now I guess you could just jump on one of these buses, but just in case there isn't one when you're here, we'll continue walking. In fact, there's one of the long stay buses there. Yeah, so it says it's a free bus. I'm not sure if they would check your car park ticket or something to get on the bus. So just in case, we'll keep going. But that could be as easy as it is, and that's like maybe 10 minutes walk from the beach. You might be able to get here, jump in a bus and be in the terminal in a couple of minutes. Right, this is where things get just a wee bit dodgy. We've got to skip along the side of the road just for a moment, but that's because of some construction there. Normally you would be able to take that pavement and we just keep going straight ahead. From here you can see the taxis going up the hill there, there's a little sign to the terminal, but we'll continue just walking straight on. The taxis won't like me for showing you this route, that's for sure. The 
the waste ground soon becomes pavement again and if you've got DHL on your right hand side you're on track not only is it an easy walk but it's quite cool being able to watch the wee private jets taxi in as well and where there are private jets it looks like we've got the VIP terminal here that's somewhere I'll never be able to show you inside already I can see the main terminal off in the distance and that's taken less than 20 minutes so far when you get to this next little roundabout you can either just cut up the side of the main road or you can take this little VIP express route along the pavement that's a little bit more civilised, let's go that way So we cut through the car park and a final wee climb up these steps and welcome to Palma Airport. So there we go folks, let me just stop the clock. That has taken 27 and a half minutes. Now just bear in mind that I was stopping to film and retrace my steps a few times. So in reality you could do that in about 20 minutes. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been of some help to you. See you later. Bye-bye.